All right, now I know this is not going to be easy to hear because, uh, you know, but this is from the very beginning of this whole COVID thing, I had, alarms were going off in me about where this was heading. And uh, right now, the level of fear mongering, disinformation we're getting from the media is just staggering. I mean, it has reached an all time level. I, I want to read you what a California, a guy in California owns a gym. And this is what he said this week. Now, some of you probably saw this. He said, it's been 18 months since people have been so scared of dying that they gave up on living. Recent government recommendations are requiring employers to do their dirty work. Asking businesses to mandate vaccines is another misstep in a parade of government failures. And they don't seem to understand why there's so much kickback. It's simple, we don't trust the government. And why would we? It's gone from two weeks to flatten the curve, to show me your papers if you want to work here. It went from stemming the flow, the ICU overflow, to eradicating a virus that will never go away. The proof is in Israel, with the highest rates of vaccines and many more breakthrough cases than ever seen. Masks didn't work, stay-at-home orders didn't work, lockdowns will go down in history as one of the greatest blunders of our time. We talk about personal responsibility in getting the vaccine, but how often do we hear about the importance of the fact that 78% of people admitted to the ICU are overweight or obese? Do we hear about the effectiveness of maintaining healthy weight, exercise, proper nutrition, vitamin supplementation? Not a peep. Are we talking about health? Instead, we get wear the mask, stay home, close your business, take this shot, none of which boosts the immune system. Don't talk to me about personal responsibility until every employer is held responsible for injury resulting from this shot when they, when they require it, or big pharma companies are held liable. I think you got it right. You know, and, and if that's like a shot out of nowhere, you need to get alternate information because there's a lot of it out there. There's just more you know, questions every day. In Israel alone, data shows half of all COVID infections are now among the fully vaccinated. 85 to 90% of COVID-related hospitalizations are the fully vaccinated, and the fully vaccinated also account for 95% of severely ill COVID patients. So if vaccination status has no bearing on the potential risk you pose to others, why do we still need passports? Why are we doing this? Why do we have a concert the other night where we were, where Maroon 5 decided, you know, just willy-nilly, we're gonna, you can't come unless you have a passport. I mean, where is this going? Passengers on a Carnival cruise ship recently experienced an outbreak of COVID despite every last person on the ship having been vaccinated. Australia, New Zealand this week, both, both totally shut down their entire nations for the one death in each country. And in fact, I think it was one infection. And we're putting up a video of a 12-year-old girl in Australia who was pepper sprayed by the police for not wearing a mask in a store. You know, guys, I just think we've lost our minds here. I, I think it's time for some civil disobedience like Martin Luther King Jr. advocated and led back in the 60s. I think, you know, I think it's really, I do. I think it's time to boycott some of these, you know, it, like, I would have loved to gotten on the television and told them what I thought. <laughs> Don't go to their concert if they're going to do this. You know, we got to say no to letting them shut us down because it's coming for us. It, it, you know, and forcing them to mask our little children. The, the latest statistic this week came from Brown University researchers. They found children aged three months to three years dropped an average of 21 points developmentally and IQ level during the pandemic. I mean, that's dire. Children need to see faces and to develop emotionally and socially and mentally. So we have, uh, yeah. I mean, there's all kind of studies attached to that. The, the Romanian studies, go back and find out what happens to kids that don't see faces. We put up some resources to help you know that there are treatment options available now. One is by the doctor who successfully treated President Trump and his whole team. They all survived. There are ways to defeat this disease 
other than an untested vaccine that appears to be working in reverse. So, you know, let's pray for our leaders. I am not putting you down if you took the vaccine. A bunch of us did. But, but you know it's never ending, right? You know it's never gonna end. I mean, and, and it's very hard for me to believe that there's, you know, this is not about control and power and money. So let's pray for our, our leaders. You know, let's just continue to pray for those here in Missouri, you know, to, to stand up to big tech and big pharma and speak out. Josh Hawley has written a book challenging this uh, tech takeover that we're in right now. We're trying to get him here. So, uh, <laughs> so Wes, help Pray for us, you know, pray, pray before we, I need to settle down here.